Hi. What we're going to take a look at today in this video is how to use Cisco Unified Personal Communicator, or CUPSI, that you see here in the middle, uh, to control the Cisco IP Communicator soft phone. Now, CUPSI is a great application. Um, it has a lot of integration features, such as, um, let's see, presence. We, uh, it integrates with the Cisco Unified uh, Presence Server. Um, for instant messaging capabilities and um, presence uh, awareness, uh, reachability, um, phone presence, calendar presence. Um, you can also integrate with Unified Communications Manager and you can con either control your desk phone here, which uh, I'm, I'm actually controlling my desk phone here, that's what the green check mark means. Uh, and you can also go into soft phone mode and I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, and I don't have it configured, but you can also integrate with the Unity connection uh, for voicemail. Uh, messaging, um, Meeting Place Express, web conferencing, and also you can integrate with an LDAP server, like uh, Active Directory server. And, um, you know, I mentioned the instant messaging capabilities. I'm going to say hello to James Bond here. And I can also tell James that I am away. And I also have a custom message here. Uh, I'm away because I'm making a video. Uh, so this is what we call reachability information. Um, and over here on the right is a picture of a phone and this is this is integration to Cisco Unified Communications Manager um, and as I mentioned I'm currently running in desk phone mode uh, and now what that means is what I can do is I can make calls right from this uh, interface but the call is going to be made and placed from the um, desk phone so I will have to actually pick up the handset or use speakerphone and, and talk uh, on the desk phone but I can control the call from here and I'll illustrate. Michael Murray. Hello. And the uh, voice you hear in the background is actually f my phone on speaker. And I can put that call on hold from here. I can resume it. And I can hang up. So I can control the call from here, but the actual call is um, uh, the talk path is coming from my desk phone. And uh, when we go into soft phone mode, uh, that, that changes. What we're going to do is actually place the call from this soft client, and you'll need a, a headset uh, with a microphone in order to place this call. So now my call control functionality and the talk path are all controlled from this client here. Um, and, but one of the things I don't like about Cupsy is this interface, this dialer here. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I much prefer the Cisco IP communicator interface you see here. Um, as you can see, it's got the look and feel of a real desk phone. It's got real, um, you know, it's got line buttons over here, soft keys in the middle, just like a regular phone. You can access your mobility uh, um, options here. Do not disturb. Um, you can uh, in initiate a Meet Me conference bridge, uh, access voicemail. Uh, so you can pretty much do everything uh, on this soft phone that you can from a normal phone. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's an interface I like much more than this Cupsy dialer pad. I mean, look at the two. There's really no comparison. So what I'm going to show you is how to use Cupsy because, again, again, it does have a lot of great features and functionality that IP Communicator doesn't. IP Communicator just makes calls. That's it. It's a phone. It doesn't do anything else. There's no IM. Uh, it doesn't integrate with Meeting Place Express. Um, it is just a phone. So, uh, what I would, what I like to do um, is actually use Cupsy, but integrate it with uh, IP Communicator to control IP Communicator as its desk phone. And uh, I'll show you how we do that. Uh, you saw that I changed to desk phone mode in this drop down menu here. Well, when I do that, this choose phone to control um, uh, option pops up, and we go ahead and select that. Now, as you can see, the, the only phone I have an option of controlling is uh, the, my desk phone, my Cisco uh, 7945 IP phone. Um, so, what we need to do is, is go into UCM. So what we need to do is get the IP communicator to show up in there. And we do that in uh, Cisco Unified Communications Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and log in.
and we'll go to user management I'll pull up my name and all we have to do is just make sure that I'm associated with this device and uh, as you can see there's two IPC uh, devices here this is um, the IPC M Murray 2 is the one we are working with today so I'm gonna go ahead and select that save And at this point, we should be able to just go back to Cupsy, choose the phone, and there it is. So we'll click Switch To. And we are now controlling IP Communicator with Cupsy. Go ahead and place a call. I'll put that on hold uh, and as you can see I'm controlling this call uh, from Cupsy but it's actually being placed through IP communicator so this allows me to use Cupsy for all the features that uh, it has that I like but also use IP communicator as my um, as my soft phone so I hope this has been uh, informative for you and uh, and thanks for watching